Okay, everybody. So um, I'm going to pick up where I left off. So uh, it says to try the lick, um, to do the, uh, the, the circle two. All right. And so I'll mix to try. Blues licks. Circle two right here. Do, say. Yeah, do, se, fa, me, do, se, fa, me, do, te, do. So I actually kind of recommend if you're going to memorize it, go from the end. Do the last part first. So do, te, do. Really cool idea, right? A lot of, lot of blues there. And then I'm going to try to do the pickup into that, the E flat. That's the last four. That's the fa me, the last five. And then I try to do the triplet by itself. So, so flat, fa me flat, me flat. I should say. I'm trying to get that memorized. All right, then I try to add the do pickup. And then I'd work one more back. May flat, me flat. from the so flat. One. The cool thing is that by itself is cool. All the ideas that we all worked on, you know, just by trying to memorize that far, even if you only get the last two notes, that's an idea that you can play. That's cool, um, in my opinion. Um, but but it's going to be notes that you can use in your way. Then the lad, the holding. Okay, the next thing it says to try is the associated scales. So spend some time playing or memorizing this minor blues scale if you didn't. And then this week it says to try this major blues scale because this is a major blues. The notes that it has in common with the minor blues are one, that flat three, sharp two in this case, five, and five. Those are the notes that are in common. And my cursor went away. Hopefully it's not all glitchy. Glitchy, glitchy. Um, one, flat three, and five. Those are the only notes that are in common with the minor blues scale. Um, but they kind of work together in different ways. So it's good to learn both. Um, so the, in, a, in this blues, you can play this minor blues scale and it sound fine. Fine. Um, but this major blues scale will give you another flavor. When we get into in future, you know, future songs, if we ever play a minor blues, um, then the major blues doesn't work on it. But these blue notes in the minor blues scale work on the major side. You just can't play the happy stuff during the sad stuff. You can always have some sad with your happy. You know what I mean? It's some bittersweet is a nice contrast to make the happier scene happier. But if you got a sad song, you don't want any happiness in there. You know what I mean? You want it to be sad and sadder. So that's the minor blues. That That is also, I don't know, you can take that however you want. Okay. All right. So let's do some improvising. So I'm going to play that B-flat blues shuffle time, and I'm going to improvise, try to use that lick that we just learned. Can it go for me here, bud? Okay, let's refresh. All right. One, two, one. Two, three. That's kind of a major Thank you. 
I use the lick a lot. Second chorus, I use that major blues. Um, experiment, have fun. The lick, learning the lick is not so much that you can play it perfect. It's so that you have some notes in an order of notes under your fingers, so that if you hear an idea like that, you'll be close. You know, you'll 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 be able to play the ideas that are coming out of your head. Okay. Um, and if you happen to play the lick perfect and you like it, you want to include that word in your vocabulary or that sentence, all the power to you. That'll make you sound bluesier too. Okay. Good luck, everybody.